everybody welcome back got a little quick one for you here what you see in front of you is my um, Royal Kludge RK 61 mechanical keyboard um, I quite like this little keyboard here um, I bought it from Goodwill for like three dollars and I brought it home plugged it in everything everything seemed to work except for the shift key and the a key everything feels fine but the keys have died. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to replace those. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm also gonna show you how to test it, how to make sure that it is the key that you need to be replacing. So step one, flip it over, and you should probably have something on the desk um, so you don't hurt your keys, but I don't. And I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I paid $3 for it. So step one, remove the screws. So, um, on this particular keyboard, all you got to do is lift the um, back cover off. Once you get those screws out, there's no um, like there's no clips or anything holding it down. And then you have your whole, um, I think they call this a back plane. I don't know. I'm not versed in the keyboards things. Um, anyways, uh, like I said, the A key and the shift key don't work. Easy way to test out um, whether or not your key is bad or your mechanical switch is bad, is to, um, first of all, figure out which key it is you need to test. And if this is the shift key, which it is, then the A key is parallel from it, or um, kitty corner from it. Finger on the A key. And this is gonna be tough to do <laughs> one-handed, but uh, get your leads, put it against your two, um, well, the, the pins of your key. Let's see if I can hold it there. And they should, if you press the key, you should hear it. But it doesn't, it doesn't do that on mine. Um, my multimeter is set to, you know, make it on continuity mode and it makes a beep. Oh God. No beep. If I press it real hard, I can get the beep. And then the shift key doesn't work like maybe one out of 10 presses it works. Oh God, this is awkward. That's really awkward. Cool thing is though, I'm gonna edit this and make it look like I did it much more elegantly. Yeah, so you can, a good working key, like this one up here, which is gonna be the escape key, will work every single time. So there you go, bad key. And now the Royal Kludge, and this is an older version of the Royal Kludge. So it does not have hot swappable keys. So it is um, soldered to your main board. And you can't just, this would be real easy if it was hot swappable because you would just grab it like that and pull it out. But that's not how it's going to work. So what you do, um, if your key stops working on your keyboard and it is something you want to salvage, you can usually find either new or used mechanical switches. Just make sure they're the same ones. And so you may have to, um, you know, study because there's a lot of different key manufacturers out there. And yeah, you could probably get any two pin mechanical um, switch. And swap it out and it'd probably just work as, as long as the pin layout was right but this one's rgb and it's brown switches and it's made by oh i can't remember it om omru homoru anyways quiet you make sure you have the same one just so that it um, feels the same you don't want there to be like 
This is a this is a linear mechanical switch, and you wouldn't want to put a clicky one in here because you know, every time you pressed A, you would hear a different sound. Anyways, um, we're gonna unsolder these now. Through the magic of editing, it's gonna look like I do this in two seconds when in reality it's gonna take me like 20 minutes <laughs> because I'm not good at soldering. So what I'm gonna do, and I've only done this a time or two before, but I'm gonna hang it off of the table, take my puller, click it on there. Yep. That's on there. And then I'm gonna heat it up from the back and just kind of work it work it loose. Um, and like I said, this is gonna take me a few minutes. It's not usually quick. Oh, looking at this. Eh, no, I thought maybe this has been resoldered before and somebody tried to fix it. I don't know, it does look different. So this is the A key right here. Well, I'll go ahead and get that in shot. You can see that that blob of solder whoop, looks different than this one and really different than all the rest of them. You got a nice um, pyramid here, a nice spiky peak, and this one's just a blob. So maybe the previous owner tried to fix it, couldn't fix it, and donated it. Don't donate things that don't work, people. Please stop doing that. That's just, just kind of mean. So I've got this cheap solder sucker, and it doesn't work great. So we're going to see how I can do this. See if I can do this. Ooh, that worked. Ooh, man, that... Okay, I take it back. This solder socket just worked perfectly. And then I should be able to... Pull it right out. There we go. Man, that's the first time that thing has worked well. That cost me like, I think I spent like $13 on it at, at um, Walmart. So here's our bad key. And something in there, you know, you can't really fix these. They're, I mean, maybe you can. I don't know. It's not really not worth it. At least not to me. Anyways, um, now that it's out of the board and we can isolate it, let's make sure that this is, in fact, no good. Well, it doesn't work every time. Oh, and I bent it over. Okay, so, bad key. <laughs> this is so hard to do like this. Don't like it. I need alligator clips, that would make this so much easier. Yeah, every time we get a beep. So, good keycap. Or switch, not a keycap. Alright, so now we just have to orient it the way it was when it came out. Which isn't going to be hard, um, it only goes in one way. There we go, snapped into place. Now I don't have any flux, but you can solder stuff like this without flux. It's not gonna be as pretty as the rest, but it'll work just fine. So this is flux core solder. And I am not a solderer by trade. I have said this a lot of times. All of my soldering jobs just work well enough. There we go. Where you at? There we go. So it's not pretty, 
but it's going to work just fine. All right, so I'm going to do the shift key off camera and then we'll see if this works. All right, I was successful. I uh, got the shift key in there. And there's my terrible solder job. Should work though. Let's go ahead and put our keyboard back together. Uh oh, I lost the screw. Found the screw. Keys go on uh, pretty simple. Line them up, push them down. All right, now we gotta plug it in and test it. All right, we got the uh, little test bench here all set up. Actually, it's it's that guy. And I'm gonna plug the USB into it. Well, all the, uh, we haven't broken any of the RGB, which is nice. So we had an issue with the A key. Well, that's working way better now. And the shift key. There we go. Awesome. So, um, this, this is like a $40 keyboard right now. Um, like if you were to try to buy it used, maybe you could pick it up for 30. So like I was saying, uh, this is like a $30, maybe a $40 keyboard at most. Um, there's a newer version, which is Bluetooth or wireless, and it has replaceable keycap, uh, replaceable hot swappable mechanical switches. Um, so if you were to find one of these keyboards um, for a good price and it, you know, it had some bad keys and you wanted to replace them, I don't know if that's a, a good deal or worth your time. But if you had a keyboard already and that you really liked and one of the keys have died, you don't have to donate it <laughs> to Goodwill in this case or throw it away or take it to the recyclable recyclers. Um, for not a whole lot of money, you can replace these. Um, I bought a bag of 10. Um, good key, um, good mechanical switches off of eBay for like $5 plus $2 shipping or something like that. A lot of people have a soldering gun laying around, um, even a cheap one from Walmart for like seven bucks or Radio Shack. Um, we'll do the job for this. It's, it's not really that in depth. You could fix it. Um, and I hope this gives you the know-how and maybe the confidence to give it a try. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.